What is up ladies and gents, my name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and today I'm here to bring you all a complete gameplay walkthrough of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition Arrival. Yes, the Arrival, the last... Wait, no, it's not the last DLC to Mass Effect 2, but it's the one that perfectly bridges the gap between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, which well, I will, I'll be continuing my Mass Effect 3 walkthrough, ladies and gents, in the near future, probably around July, because by the time you guys listen to this, which is Monday, I'm going to be, let's just say I'm going to be really busy with a lot of walkthroughs um, in the month of June. So, yeah, just wanted to give the rest of my Mass Effect 2 stuff out of the way. We did lay on the Shadow Broker yesterday. Now, finally arrival so yeah let's do this if you guys enjoy this walkthrough slash video if you guys could please leave a like on this video if you guys like what you saw that didn't make sense i said that backwards but same thing it still applies um please subscribe for more content that helps what uh, helps out the channel a lot and when you do subscribe ladies and gents make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can start receiving notifications when i post videos and go live in a live stream uh next time or go live i meant to say um and when you do hit that notification bell ladies and gents make sure you set notifications to all so you receive all my channel post uh post updates all my video posts and all my live stream posts as well um, please share my channel and my videos to all your friends, families, cats, and dogs, and whoever who nuts. And you guys can all follow me on Twitter at Beta B A Y T U H. If you want to support me even further, then just subscribe to my YouTube channel, leaving a like, share my channel and my videos to all your friends and families. Please consider donating some of your extra monies you have lying around to my Patreon and or PayPal. That is patreon.com slash beta B A Y T U H and or PayPal.me slash beta B A Y T U H. You do not have to do either of those. That's 100% optional. But please note, ladies and gents, any and all donations are much appreciated. And with all that being said, let's get started. Let's, let's get, get started. Yep, yep. Now I have to pull all the way out and find a mass relay. Wait, where the hell am I? Is there a mass relay near here? Not gonna lie, I probably should have taken care of this off screen, but I did it. YOLO. Alright, here we go. Is it cool to say YOLO anymore? I don't know. I mean, I'm 26 years old. I graduated from high school, what, like, in, in 2014? People were still saying YOLO. I'm like, oh, Christ. God, can you guys believe that that was a thing? YOLO? I I'm so glad we're past that. Now it's thought, thoughts or whatever the hell. And other crap. Other freaking millennial jargon, even though I am I fit into that category. Okay, let's see. I got this mission, what, like a few hours into Mass Effect 2? Come on, man. We've been spotted. Baron, the Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Yep, yep. I, I actually can't wait to see the connection with the Reapers and everybody else and, and, and Mass Effect 3. Now, am I excited to continue my Mass Effect 3 walkthrough, ladies and gents? Well, that's an entirely different story. <laughs> Hey, I do it for you. This place is run down, even for a prison. Good 
if the human in question. Get your hands off me! Let's see. The reason why I came over here is because I thought there was going to be a way through there. Yeah, we can't run through there. Is there no way to cut the power? Ah, right here. Puzzles. I smell like fish right now. Is a reason for that? Cooking me mom some dinner. I hear humans are scurrying like vermin out in the asteroid belt. Is anywhere safe from them? We should arm a mission to flush them all out. Now what's this? Okay. I was about to say, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Don't think that really did anything to help me. We came from that way, right? Okay, cut the power. Maybe, ah, oh God, Jesus. Maybe I should do it savey save. I know that voice was pretty close, right? Okay, I don't want to go out there. Where is it back out there? The way were those guards for that? No matter. All right.
got it. If they did, then it swarmed in and put flags all over it. <sighs> I remember this from Grand Theft Auto V. One of my least favorite parts in that whole entire game. Still a 10 out of 10, but goodness gracious. Okay, let's do another save your save. This one's apparently the mastermind. If she doesn't talk, kill her. Reaper. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape pod. Then we'll find them. Go. Ready. Let's go. Uh, where are we going? Oh. Where, where did the, these stairs get here? There should be a security console here somewhere. I was, but thank you, lady. I'll be right there. Play him on, son. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. I got your back like a butt crack. They will not cross this line.
We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. Oh, okay. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Wait, I have to go out here? We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming up from below. They're so far Other above, side, low go. below. I forgot how that quote goes. Side. Other More side of what? On the elevators. elevators. There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. What the heck did he throw something at me? Never had the chance. Was he there the whole entire time? That did it. Let's move. Get to the hangar. Do not let them escape. Come on, Doc. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned Leave that way. to me. Call me Commander Shepard of the N7 squad for no reason. Ah, this is what these qua uh, quains, cranes were for. Right, can we go? We have to break the locks on the bay doors. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. 
From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Prepare your voice, Doctor. You coming off? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, 
and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. All right, let's go. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. So this way? So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. We really gonna throw an astronaut, uh, astronaut. <laughs> We're gonna throw an astronaut at the mass relay. An asteroid at the mass relay. I think I say mash. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you object row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. You start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Take him down. They've seen it. So she's a doctor needed, they all are. I knew it was too good, but uh, too good to be true. Give yourself over and be spared. You're not going to get me, Harbinger. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Now what?
project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. This, it just said armor and equipment, right? Am I tripping? Not much time. I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. Why the hell do they keep me alive? And why haven't they just destroyed the project that's going to destroy the, the thing? Too many questions. I'm going in. Good, because you ain't coming back out. Guys, you have to admit, what I just said was really cool. That was really cool. That deserves a subscription right there. Boom. Scored to wake up. Shepherd is tearing us apart. Regroup. Gotta ask the question why you kept me alive, guys. Flame on. Think you is Get ready. Clearly somebody wasn't ready. Ow, what the uh, two could play that game, guys. Hard save, you save. The longer we're here, the more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what the Reapers want. Was that a question? It's foolish to assume that the Reapers mean doom for the galaxy. Legends say they've come through before, and yet life continues, doesn't it? Does like does Shepard like share any or did the Alliance not share any of the information that Shepard gave them about the Reapers? About why they're doing this? Should I save it? Oh.
There we go. Okay, it's not this way. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? living in the Bahak system. This is... Shepard, no! Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Shepard, are you just gonna stop talking to all the colonists? Shield to fail. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson. Shepard is trapped. Keep him in there. Can't keep a good shepherd down. Why are you guys not dropping any ammo? How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process. I'm running out of bullets. Plasma venting aborted. Hmm. 
I didn't open that door. Come on, one of you guys gotta drop some type of ammunition. There we go. Alright, let's kick some ass. Jesus, now that was overkill. There we go. I was waiting for that. Reactor temperature approaching Battery. Hold on. All right, just making sure there's not like a... Ah. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now. You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you had to do was stay asleep. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning, collision imminent. Warning, collision imminent. Warning, collision imminent. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup. Now. Communication system damaged. 
Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. Are we not gonna, re you know, warn the Batarians? All right, let's go. What the? Stupid glass. This looks interesting. All this stuff is useless. I don't need it. I could go. you guys doing here you indoctrinated assholes We got a Dragon Ball Z it with Goku. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you. A star system sacrificed, but even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that.
Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians, not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system, all dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. <laughs> you guys surely aren't. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm sorry, I just had to laugh at that Mass Effect 3. I'll gladly stay in trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. ladies and gents was mass effect 2 legendary edition arrival thank you all for watching this and thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough thank you thank you thank you much i appreciate it that was actually pretty interesting and really fun to play through i like the fact that everyone on the station was indoctrinated or yeah there were a doctor some i'm guessing the doctor she was indoctrinated 
and I guess her followers just wanted to see the Reapers and whatnot. Their blessings, in quote, which was, I mean, they're zealots. They, I, I mean, yeah, I'm basically zealots. Seems like they worship the, not worship the Reapers, but you know what I mean. That was fun. Um, a good. Uh, I was about to say bridge gap. I think that's the word I'm looking for between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 because if I'm not mistaken, Mass Effect 3 takes place six months after Arrival. Um, so yeah, that does answer the questions of how did the Reapers get to the to the galaxy so fast and, and all that good jazz. But guess what? In that six months, ladies and gents, guess what? The Alliance doesn't do jack all to prepare for the Reapers. <laughs> Oh my god, it's hilarious, it's so stupid. God, this is one of the main story points I freaking hate in Mass Effect 3. <sighs> but we will get to Mass Effect 3, ladies and gents, like I said, sometime in July, because I'm going to be very busy with other walkthroughs in the, mint uh, in the meantime, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> oh my god, you guys didn't do anything, huh? Some think that maybe this freaking cycle of or or or, or uh, uh, organics should be wiped out. Is that am I one of those people? Who knows? Because they're so stupid. Definitely the council. Um. Anyways, ladies and gents. Um. For my next gameplay walk, I just want to touch on this for a quick second. Sorry, I'm cracking myself up because it's ridiculously stupid and funny. Um. Like I said at the beginning of this walkthrough or this video. Uh, I'll say it again. I'm planning on doing three gameplay walkthroughs, full gameplay walkthroughs later this week. One of which is Ninja Gaiden the Master, Coll uh, Master Collection, which encompasses Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1 and Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Um, and Razor's Edge, but I already did a walkthrough of Razor's, Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge uh, a few years ago, so I might do a couple of videos on that. But the main, my main focus will be Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1 and Sigma, uh, and Sigma 2 via the Master Collection. Then we're going to be doing Final Fantasy 7 remake in a great episode Yuffie uh, I cannot wait for that I mean apparently she's a fan favorite and I love Final Fantasy 7 remake give me any excuse to jump back and jump back into that game one of my favorite games of 2020 and also we uh, I will be doing a full gameplay walkthrough of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart so yeah, so much content coming to my channel from here on out, from now to the end of 2021. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell turned on, ladies and gents, and make sure those uh, excuse me, make sure you set those notifications to all, so you don't miss out on any of my content that's coming to this channel. Beta, B A Y T U H. I almost called myself uh, called myself B two. Uh, repress memories. Anyways. Um, I think that's about it. Like I said, ladies and gents, thank you all for watching this. I thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough. Thank you all for the love and support on this walkthrough and on my other walkthroughs and on my channel as a whole. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Before I let you guys all go, if you guys could please leave a like on this video if you guys like what you saw. Please subscribe for more content. It helps about the channel a lot. Also, when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can start receiving notifications when I post videos or go live with the live stream next time. When you do hit that notification bell, ladies and gents, make sure you set notifications to all so you receive all my channel post updates, all my video posts, and all my live stream posts as well. Um, please share my channel and my videos to all your friends, families, cats, and dogs, and whoever who not. And you guys can all follow me on twitter at beta b-a-y-t-u-h if you want to support me even further than just subscribing to my youtube channel leave it a like share my channel and my videos to all your friends and families please consider donating some of your extra monies you have lying around to my patreon and or paypal that is patreon.com slash beta b-a-y-t-u-h and or paypal.me slash beta b-a-y-t-u-h <clears throat> sorry Whew, i need some water did I, did I say that right? PayPal.me slash beta, uh, beta, 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 B-A-Y-T-H, uh, Patreon, beta, uh, B-A-Y-T-H. You do not have to do either of those. That's 100% optional. But please note, ladies and gents, any and all donations are much appreciated. Appreciate it. Oh, God, Jesus, I really need some water. <laughs> that laugh really got me. Um, so, yeah, uh, with all that being said, ladies and gents, without further ado, my name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and I will catch you guys all on my next walkthrough. Peace.